Hey everybody, welcome to HD Piano. This is Joe. Today, Norman Effing Rockwell by Lana Del Rey. Apologies in advance for using the word effing, although effing isn't actually a swear word, but you know what I mean. Mother, if you're watching, which I very, very much doubt you are, I'm sorry. Anyway, this is the intro. Three, four... And then we're into our first verse, which is our next tutorial. Now, if you want to see the rest of this, which of course you should, head on over to hdpiano.com, where the other sections of this will be. It's quite a few, actually. This is very detailed for such a potty mouth title. This song has actually got a lot of depth to it. Not that there's anything about swearing that doesn't have depth, in my opinion. This is middle C. I was only joking, by the way, about the swearing and depth. We're playing in the key of C, which is nice and straightforward for us pianists because we have none of these chaps to have to deal with. Now, a quick question for you. This is the only question you could ask about this song, really, is what other songs do you know that have got swearing in the title? Now, I'm very sorry, first of all, to my bosses, second of all, to parents, third of all, to people that don't like swearing, fourth of all, to my mother. I don't know, everyone else, I'm sorry to everyone that doesn't like swearing, but I thought it would be an interesting sort of question to ask, which songs do you know of that have swearing in the title? And if you want to asterisk out your actual letters so we have to, it leaves a little bit to the imagination, then do so. I'd recommend that, in fact, that's my caveat for releasing such an absurd question into the world of YouTube. Anyway, we start with our key chord, C, as our first port of call and we're playing here with swung quavers today swung eighth notes which means there's that assumed rhythm applied to pairs of quavers pairs of eighth notes so that was a swung scale of c this is a straight scale of c so it's swing the notes are not all of the same length it's not half 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 it is Two-thirds, third, two-thirds, third, which is hard to say and make it actually sound right. So if you just listen to it, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. And those longer notes always appear on the beats and the shorter notes always appear off the beats. And that's how it works. Now, this piece of music uses swing, but it also uses triplets. So our first port of call, okay, is that we play on beat one, a C octave in the left hand, and then on beat one and a, uh, Okay, so we're talking about three increments of a beat. So one under, two and a three and a gives us a nice way of um, counting in thirds. But on the first third, we play this. On the second third, we play this. So it goes one and, sorry, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, like that. That's our first few you notes. Know, one and a, uh, two and a. Uh. This one and, this is not rare, but it's less usual than your swung quavers, which is just like two and a, two and a, where you play that first one that covers the first two thirds, and then this second one, which covers the final third. We've got here in, the, in between the hands, one and a, two and a, a note that comes in on the second third of beat one. Now that rhythm, that rhythmic theme occurs all the way through this, okay, you'll see what I mean as we get into the tutorials. So, one and uh, two and uh. That's our first two beats. One and uh, two and uh. Second inversion C coming on beat two. Last time, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh. See? When we get to beat three, we do second finger G, three and uh. The remaining triplets of beat three, we play G minor third. Three and a, uh, four and a. Uh. And then four and a, uh, like that. One and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a. Uh. Just like that, that's bar one. Again, two, three, four, again, two. Last time, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a, uh, one, a, uh, two and 
and a three and a four and a. So that second bar is slightly more obvious. There's this rhythmic pattern again. One and a. We'll be coming on that second third. One and a. And then let's just look at the right hand. So from beat two all the way through to the end of beat four, we're playing triplets. What two and a. Three and a. Four and a. And those fingers are good as well. Four to five. The so grace note off the D. Two and uh, again, three and uh, and then grace note off the G onto A. Four and uh, and finger two goes over like that. Four and uh, and you come back on one on beat one of bar three. Quite a short video this one because I knew there'd be a lot of detail to explain. One and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one. In the left hand, we're just playing F fifths on beat. One, two, and four. And we finish on the octave and C with our thumb in the right hand playing G and beat one of the following bars. So that again. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. Like that. This is a really lovely piece to play, by the way. You've chosen a good one to learn here. One and a two and a three and a four. Slightly concerned about what I've released in terms of people writing really, really, really rude song names because I can think of one or two, um, especially by a certain hip hop group, which, to be honest, no one should even read, let alone have written down for potentially anyone to read. This might be me getting handed my P45, which means in English terms, I'll be at the job centre before long. Like that. So, one and a two and a three and a four and a one there we are that's that bar so last time one and a two three four and then one two and a three a four and a one so there we land finger one with our octave of c and then it'll be two three triplets two and a of g fifth and then let's just look at the right hand now. Beat three. Three and a four and a. Like that. Three and a four and a. G minor, basically. Root position. And then root three. Root. And that's all on swung quavers, of course. And then the left hand. One. Nothing. And then G. But on beat four and. Like that. So I'll beat four again. Four and uh, like that. Splice between the hands. Just like we did up here when we went in bar one, now bar three. Like that. That again. So one, two, and a three, and four, and again. Last time. And then one and two and three. Four and a one. And that's the first notes of our next video. So what do we do there? It's another grace note. Using your finger one and two on G going to A. One and two and F fifths again. One and two and three four and a one just like that one and two and three four and a one proper speed two three four just like that okay last time with that bar And that's it for this video. I had a feeling it was going to be quite detailed to explain the swing um, and also that to the triplets basically because it's we're playing a lot of swing but then we're also using triplets that are not necessarily matched with swing. We do go straight as well as in we use straight quavers for big chunks of this. The choruses are straight um, but the bulk of it is swung. Let's hit this all again anyway. Here we go. One and two and three and four.
And that's it. Cool, took me 10 minutes to explain all that. You're having a... No, not allowed to swear. Not allowed to swear. Only Lana Del Rey can swear. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, guys. We will uh, be doing the... What's next? The verse, the first verse. So I'll see you there, which is still swung. If you are on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Write down song titles that aren't too rude. Um, then, yeah, wish me goodbye on my search for new work. Once I get fired for creating such a disgracefully rude ruckus over here. And yeah, see you at hdpiano.com for the remaining parts of this, which are worth learning. This is great. This has been Joe, HD Piano. Bye for now.